Hello, my name is Natalie and today I'm going to be talking about new release Christmas films that you can watch this Christmas season. Now, there weren't many films that I found that I thought were particularly good. There's a lot of Christmas films out there. There's a lot of like those Hallmark type Christmas films out there. So if that's your cup of tea, like awesome. I enjoy those ones too. But I wanted to find ones that I thought were like exceptionally good or like could potentially be Christmas classics for years to come. So first up is Violent Night. And this film is about a badass Santa who ends up stumbling down the chimney of this family who are undergoing a violent robbery. And he ends up kicking all the bad guys' butts, I think. So Violent Night could be one to watch with your partner. <laughs> doesn't look very romantic. Christmas with the Campbells. Now this is a romantic comedy type Christmas film with a difference. The premise of this film is that people have no filter and say whatever's on their mind or whatever they're thinking and feeling. It's about a woman whose partner breaks up with her right before Christmas but she has a really good relationship with his family so she decides to go to his parents place at Christmas time anyway even though they're not together anymore and spend it with them. She meets her ex's attractive cousin, played by Justin Long, who I have a little crush on. And yeah, it ends up becoming like this love triangle between the three of them. Something from Tiffany's. It's coming up to Christmas time and there's two couples and in one of the couples, the man wants to propose to his girlfriend. So he buys her a ring from Tiffany's. And in the other couple, the boyfriend wants to get his girlfriend some earrings. So he buys them from Tiffany's. The gifts somehow end up being swapped over and there's like this journey to get the ring back to its original owner. But the girl who accidentally got the ring and the guy who bought the ring for someone else end up having intense chemistry and well, we'll see what happens next. <laughs> Lastly is Spirited on Apple TV. I already talked about this film in my coming out in November video, but I watched it the other day and I really enjoyed it. It is a full on musical. So if you're into that kind of thing, turn it up, get like into it and just enjoy the cheese while it's there. It's quite long, over two hours long. So not great for little kids. It definitely pushes the boundaries of the PG rating because there's a lot of swearing in it. But overall, I really enjoyed it. If you're not a musical person, you might not. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to do was just list off a whole bunch of Christmas movies. So if you are looking for something, maybe one of the following will tickle your fancy. So Love Hard, which came out last year on Netflix, is a really good rom-com and I enjoyed that. Hello. Die Hard is obviously a classic. Then A Nightmare Before Christmas, a Tim Burton classic, like horror type Christmas film, which is really good. Last Christmas, which includes music from the band Wham, and is another rom-com or just like a romantic drama. It's very sweet and very touching, and I really enjoyed that one too. The Family Stone. At first, I didn't really know what was going on in that film and what it was about but over the years I've found myself thinking about it more and being drawn to it as like a cozy comforting movie. The Holiday again another comfort movie that I will watch at any time of year but is technically a Christmas movie. Jingle All the Way a classic 80s film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Home Alone another classic early 90s film with Macaulay Culkin being super cute. The Christmas Chronicles that came out more recently and is a good family Christmas movie with some good adult jokes in it too. Love Actually goes without saying and lastly A Castle for Christmas which I think came out last Christmas as well and is another rom-com type film. Well I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope one of these films tickles your fancy and that you have a really safe and happy holiday season. I'll catch you in the next one.